our reflection today is Jesus is the way and it's taken from John 14 verses 1 to 6. For this passage Jesus is with his disciples at the Last Supper and he's just 24 hours away from his ultimate sacrifice for us of crucifixion. He's trying to get the message through to the disciples about where he is going, who he is and how they must get there. And Jesus says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my father's house, there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would tell you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is the simple message of the Bible. Jesus is the only way to God the Father and Jesus and the Father are one. Jesus and his teachings are what we need to follow and we need to submit ourselves to his will instead of our own. The world would have us believe that there are many ways to heaven and all paths lead to God. But this is not what Jesus says. There is only one way. Acts 4 verse 12 says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. It's really important that we realise that Jesus is the only way and that we preserve that way and help others to join the path to heaven. There are obstacles in the path and there are things on the way that will be difficult. Our struggle along the way is because we are battling our own will and wishes instead of submitting to the will of God. The dictionary definition of way is a method, style or manner of doing something. Jesus' life on earth as a man showed us the method, style and manner of living a sinless life. Paul asks us to battle with our temptations and overcome and by doing so we can be transformed and conformed to the image of Christ. Romans 8 verses 28 to 29. We need to follow his ways and do it according to his word and live out the example that Jesus has given us. Put Jesus' instructions and his example of living into practice. Jesus was obedient to the will of his father and his instead of his own will. He loved people and sought out the outcasts and sinners and the weak, poor and oppressed. He performed many miracles and he taught us the way to a godly life. All of these things he is asking us to do as the way to the Father. Living life like Jesus is not easy. And Jesus in Matthew 7 verses 13 and 14 talks about it being a narrow way and not many will find the gate that leads to life. But it's so worth it if for our reward in heaven if we can make it along that narrow way. James 1 verse 12 says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. And we'll finish our reflection in prayer. Thank you, Father, for sending your son Jesus to show us the way to you and for the sacrifice of his life to create a way for us to be saved. Thank you that Jesus' life was our blueprint for living our life on the narrow way. Help us to follow his way and strive to live a life without sin, to have a heart full of love for the unlovable, to be humble servants of all that you want us to do and to be obedient to your will so that your wishes become our wishes. Keep us in Jesus' footsteps along the narrow way so that we can enter into the kingdom of heaven with our crown of life held high. 
thank you again for the gift of Jesus. Amen.